Okay, welcome back to extended play, extended run through for Caverna. So we're just about to start, I guess, the second year. And Jen had taken first player. Now I didn't say why she did, and I'm gonna demonstrate why now. Because she knew in the second year, if I had been first player, the first thing I would have done is I would have gone and wished for children, which would give me an extra worker. And you know, so Jen decides she wanted to go first, not because she doesn't have the room she needs yet to wish for, but she's going to send her first worker there anyway. Because you'll notice it says you could wish for children, which means basically you get an extra worker, you get a little baby dwarf, or furnish a dwelling. Jen is going to furnish a dwelling instead, and so, and in doing that, she's effectively blocked me and prevented me from being able to have a baby, which is what I had pushed for really hard. And now, actually, furniture dwelling is different. You notice over here is furniture cavern. That means you could put any room you want in, because these are all furnishings. If you say dwelling, that means you can only choose the dwellings. So it's very limited. So Jen's gone here, and she's going to furnish a dwelling. Remember, she had a lot of resources. She's going to build a really nice one that's worth three victory points. Four wood, three stone, and it'll go right here. All her wood's gone, and all her stone is gone. And she basically prevented me from getting that third worker and did what she wanted to do anyway. Uh, so there we go. And she scored three points at it. And so now it's my turn. And I wanted to go there, but I can't. Now, so I gotta, gotta come up with a different plan instead. Now, first of all, and I should say, this is something that's very important, uh, is play order. Because I've got a bra brave, bold adventurer character, you know, who was just basically born last turn, and a regular one, the brave bolt, the, the, the stronger, more powerful they are, the later they sleep in. Which means that anybody who doesn't have a sword has to be used before anybody who has a sword. Anybody who has a low level sword, so like if, if, if they both had swords, this one would have to play before this one. And right now, this one has to play before this one. And, you know, sometimes that doesn't matter. Sometimes it matters hugely to have that limitation. Because, for instance, I look at the board right now, and I'm thinking, hey, you know what would be really cool? I'd love to grab all these sheep. Because not only would I get to grab the sheep, but I could spend two wood and I could build a pasture here in my meadow. And since there's a, if I, if I build a pasture around this, I can't think of the word, these things, uh, stables, stables, which I just dropped on the floor. If I built, if I, if I, um, if I have a pasture where that is, I'd be able to hold four animals in that space and then you know there'd be three so i figure hey you know what i should do is i should go grab all this wood so i've got the wood and then for my second action i'll do sheep farming and i'll grab the sheep and i'll build but here's the problem if i want to grab wood i should come here because not only would i grab the wood i'd go on an adventure because i send my adventurer along they grab the wood and i'd get to grab something else really cool and then I'd have this person come over here and use the wood to build the pasture, you know, build the fences and get the sheep. But I can't do that because remember, this player, this, you know, Ma or Pa has to play before Ma because she is sleeping in. So while that would be a perfect get the wood, do an adventure and then build the sheep, I can't do it because that person is sleeping in late. So like I said, that's an example of how this um, enforced a character order, the higher level they are, the later they have to be used, really mixes things up. So, you know, I could still, I could, you know, let's see, well, I need two wood. So I could still come here, but then it's really wasteful because all I do is get the wood, I wouldn't get to do the adventure. And really, if I'm going to come here, I should spend my, I should get the adventure out of it too. So should I do something else? I could come here, but it's not wasteful, but there's only four wood as opposed to five wood. So anyway, do I want to get the sheep? Do I want to start working on a sheep thing? Because remember, at the end of this turn, I'm going to need food. I need two food, one for every dwarf. And I got no food right now. Jen, she's got food, so she's not worried about it. So it would be good to grab all those sheep. And plus, you know, I mean, that's a lot built up. But I, would, I couldn't be as efficient as I want to because of the restriction. Now, alternatively, I could grab these rubies. These rubies are just sitting here. Rubies are awesome. They are, right now, this is the only way to get rubies is that space, and there's two of them just waiting for me. And they're a wild card. They could be traded in for anything, anytime you want. Like, for instance, I could grab these two rubies, and then I could immediately, out of turn, trade them both in for two tunnels, right? And then, for my next action, I'd be able to, um, you know, construct another ore mine on top of those two tunnels, I'd get more ore, and I'd get to go on an adventure, which means I'd get to bring back two pieces of loot and level up my guy, and I'd be able to get the two food I need. So that's really cool. 
you know, get the rubies, use them up, and you know, so that's a way I'm basically getting like three actions out of two goes. So that's pretty cool. Although there's a lot of stone that's built up here, and you know, do I want to get to this stone and you know, clear, you know, do, do some more excavations so I can um, start building some more stuff in my underground, or do I just want to pick up some ore because I'd be able to get these three plus two more because I already have an ore mine. Yeah. These are all good choices. And it's tough. I have to make a tough choice because the easy choice would have been to get another worker, but Jen denied me that. I think I'm going to do the ruby thing. I'm going to send this person. I'm going to grab the rubies. Okay. And now it's Jen's turn. Let's see. And so now she has the room. She'd like to, but she can't put a second worker here. So what's her other action going to be? Let's see. Oh, of course, the other thing I could have done instead of getting the rubies, I could have grabbed first player because that means next round I'd get to go there first and I would be able to guarantee that I'd have a worker. But now I haven't taken it. So now Jen's going to say, should she take it solely so that she can hold on to first player? I don't know. Or does she want a bunch of wood? Or does she want a bunch of stone? Or does she want the sheep? But, you know, she has no wood. So she can't use the wood to build the pasture to get all that sheep. But I think she's attracted to that. So she's going to want to get a lot of wood. And since she knows I would benefit from being able to gather this wood and go on an adventure, she's going to go get there before I get there and therefore take that benefit away from me. So she gets a bunch of wood. That was her second action. All right. And now for my second action, I'm going to do what I said. I am going to surprise everybody and say surprise. I'm turning in my two rubies to place two tunnels. So I get them out, one, two. Uh, in fact, I'll put, the, I'll put it here to give me a food, and over here, and so I got a food. That's half of my food needs for this turn. And now my action is gonna be ore mine construction, where I get to build, replace those tunnels with another ore mine, which is another three points. And remember, I immediately get three ore for doing it. So I'm starting to save up so I can make another really nice weapon for my other worker. And I get to go on a level two adventure, which means I get two pieces of loot and they're level nine pieces of loot. So what do I want? I say now, interestingly, that means I could make another tunnel, but I just used all my rubies to make a tunnel. So I don't even want to do that. Do I want to make another stable for free? Do I want to furnish a cavern? Well, I, I don't have any resources. I couldn't furnish a cavern. Do I just want to get two victory points? Well, I know I want some more food because I need at least one more food to feed my family. What's the best food I could get? Probably, let's see here. A pig is worth two food, as is a pumpkin. So I could get a pig or a pumpkin. So that's nice. Donkey's only worth one. Getting a cow means a level 10, because a cow would be worth three food. So I think I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a pig. Yeah, I'm gonna get a pig, uh, which is a level five reward. But it, yeah, but I'm gonna get that pig. Get that pig. And I'm gonna put it in this, I could put it in the, home, in the house, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my, why do I keep forgetting what these are called? Stables, all right, so. So my loot was, wait, wait, no, that's only the first thing. So the first thing I got, because I did, let's see, the first thing I got was a pig. I can't get another one, but I've got my food needs covered. What else do I want? I could get just two bucks and that's just two victory points. Or I could get a pumpkin, because that means later on I could plant pumpkins here, and that would be a really good source of food in the future. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna bring back a pumpkin. Pumpkins are normally hard to get. You'll notice, at no point do pumpkins ever show up on the board. The only way to get pumpkins in this game is find them out on expeditions or trade in rubies to get them. So I just got a pumpkin. Later on, if I slash and burn, I'll plant it and start growing pumpkins. All right, so. That was my adventure. Oh, and don't forget, I've gone from a level nine now to a level 10. So that means the next time I go on an adventure, I now have access to cattle. Oh, well, I, oh, I could have uh, bailed another tunnel, or if I had wood, I could have, and you know, basically I can do fences for half cost, but I didn't have any wood. So, but next turn I'll be able to start getting cattle. And again, the only way to get cattle in the game is to either go on expeditions or pay a ruby and a food. This cattle is the most expensive thing. All right, so those are my two actions. Everybody comes home. Um, let's see, stuff refills. A lot of stone showing up here for drift mining. That's getting very attractive. More food for start player. Another ruby. Um, a three wood. I'm 
two, three. Another ore. Another wood. So now wood gathering is starting to get very attractive. Uh, clearing, another food on sustenance. And a new card comes out. Oh wait, oh wait, oh, I'm sorry. Well, let's see. We have to pay one food for each dwarf. Remember, I need to pay food. Or Jen, she just had the two food she needed. That was easy for her. And now I've got one food. And I've got a pumpkin. I can, anytime I want, for free, I can convert this pumpkin into two food. But I want to plant this pumpkin, but I'm going to convert it into food instead. Because I don't want to have a begging card, because a begging card is negative three points. So I mean, here's the two food I got from that pumpkin. So I fed. All right. Anyway, and now a new card comes out. Donkey farming. This is the exact same as sheep farming, uh, it, except it builds up donkeys over time. Okay, there we go. Jen is still first. Since I did not take starting player from her, the time has come. Jen is first. She is going to go wish for children, and that means she now has three workers to my two. That gives her a huge benefit, but you'll notice we have a harvest. She is going to need five food this turn. Four for her two full-grown workers and one for her baby. She needs five food. I only need two. And she's starting to get low on food. Okay, that was her first action. My first action. It can't be with the adventurer. It has to be with the... Uh... Let's see. Now, I could go for starting player, but I figure, you know, Jen's not going to go here again. So I'll just get my... I'm not going to try and snack. I should really grab something else, something valuable. Since she gave up that, I should grab something really good. And all this stone is looking very, very attractive. That's a lot of stone. Four stone. Because you need stone to build almost any building. And these buildings are hugely important. Hmm. I could get a lot more. I'd be able to four, five, six, because I have... No, five, six, seven, eight. I have two ore mines now. If I go ore, I would get eight. Nine, ten, eleven. I'd have eleven ore. That means... Um, you know, my other character could go blacksmithing and I would have a level 8 and a level 10 character. That would be awesome. Plus, I might start thinking about trying to buy the ore storage. It's a very cheap building. One wood, two stone. And I'd get a, a point for every, a half a point for every ore at the end of the game. I could really double down on making a very strong ore production line in this game. But remember, I need to worry about food too. I'm going to need four food. I've only got one. I could eat my pig for two. I don't want to eat my pig though. I, I'm, I'm just, I need to start getting, I need, I need to get into the food production business here. That is what I need to do. So let's actually talk about the buildings I could build that would allow me to do that. For instance, the working cave is very, very nice. Um, it basically lets me feed, uh, meet the needs of any one dwarf with normal resources. Cooking cave, if I have a pumpkin and a wheat, they are worth five food. Normally, um, um, you know, a pumpkin plus a wheat is worth three, so this basically increases the yield. And a slaughtering cave, every time I convert animals to food, which I can do anytime I want, I get an extra food. So that'd be pretty cool. Do I want to try and make a go? Let's see. Because remember, I, when I go on adventures, I can furnish, I don't have to, Jen, to, to furnish a cavern, she has to use one of her workers. I can do it whenever I go on an adventure. So maybe I want to go on an adventure. And, um, yeah. So my, I could have this person blacksmith and go on an adventure. They would only be a level three, though. But at a level three, they could get some stone and some wood. And then my other character could go on an adventure, say, over here. And then with that stone and wood, I'd, have a, I'd be able to build the working cave, which means I'd be able to meet the needs of the food, and I'd be able to get my other food. So that'd be pretty cool. And I'd, you know, I'd get my blacksmithing done. But do I want to do it with more ore? That means it'd only be a level three. But that's pretty cool, though. But that means I'm putting my um, expansion on hold solely. But that means with two characters, I'm effectively getting four actions. Blacksmithing plus a level three adventure. Um, building another... Oh, but I can't construct another mine because I, I don't have tunnels. But my other one could be logging, so I could get some more wood and I could do an adventure. So for two characters, I'd be getting four actions worth. And that is the power of swords and doing adventures. You, you don't need as many workers to get a lot of stuff done if you plan on doing the right actions. What the heck, let's say I'm gonna do that. That's just gonna be interesting. So my first action is gonna be I'm gonna blacksmith. Unfortunately, it's only level three, so it's gonna be a level three. But now she gets to go on a level three adventure, so that means she gets three pieces of loot from any of these spaces. First one is going to be a stone. 
Second one is going to be a wood. And third one. Um, so I could get some food. I could get a wheat. I could get a sheep or a donkey. I could get a dog. Donkeys. I, uh, donkeys worth, if I have two donkeys, they're worth three food. One donkey is worth one food. Sheep is only worth one food. A wheat is only worth one food. But, or let's see, actually, do, um, but, but I cannot get another wood or another stone. So I basically has, or I could also, all weapons, and that's both of us. So this would go to a level four, and this guy would go to a level 11. So that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, what the heck, I'm going to say everybody, so she levels up to level four. I level up to level 11. Okay, so that was my first move. I created a, you know, oh, and then also, whenever you do an adventure, you, so she goes, she basically leveled up twice. So now I've got a level five and a level 11. So I'm getting better and better loot I can bring back when I go on adventures. Jen's second action, now, if she's paying attention, what she should really do is come over here and grab this wood because she'd block my, but see, it's good for her, she'd get some wood and she'd stop my ability to adventure, but I think, as much as she wants to block me there, she wants all this stone, because that's a lot of stone to turn down. So she's going to get a bunch of stone, and it's drift mining, so that means she gets to put one of these tiles down somewhere. And what the heck, she'd like to get this other food up here, but she can't quite reach it. So I guess she'll just build like this. And now she's got another place she could build a building. Okay, so that was Jen's second action. We've both done our actions. Oh wait, no, no, now I get my other action. And so I'm going to gather some wood and go on an adventure. And I only get to bring back one thing, but it can be up to a level 11 thing. Level 11 means I can get all the way up to, I can actually start building, I could start building dwellings for half price, or almost half price. That's very, very cool. I do not have to rely on this. I need the resources though. In fact, I could almost do it right now, but I need two stone, I only have one. I could make another um, meadow, so I'd have more room for animals. I could get a cow, and picking up a cow is three food right there. Um, because I need the food. That's I mean, that's, I just wanted to make sure. I, I was effectively doing four actions with two characters, getting um, my another leveler, and I need the food though. I don't want to have to beg because I only have one food. So I think I am going to get a cow. Okay. Oh, and it has to go someplace. It can go here. And the uh, could go over here or it could go here. Alrighty, and so that was my second action. Now everybody comes home. Our brave adventurers have returned from their expeditions and they find a cow living with them. Jen now has three workers. Uh, mama, baby, and now dad has to sleep in the other room. There we go. And she, she gets three actions to my two actions every round. A new, oh, and it's a harvest time, so we have to harvest, which means, again, it's right here. First of all, we do the field phase. Jen, she automatically creates another wheat. I don't have anything planted. Then we feed. Um, two, I need four food. Jen needs five food. Here's one, two, three. She needs two more food. So, I think she can convert these two wheat to food. That would cover her. Two money is one food, so I think she has no choice. She's going to have to convert both her wheat to food. And so, now she could have taken a begging thing, but she's not going to do that. She doesn't want to lose three points. Oh, that's interesting. Begging's not so bad in this game. Because, you know, she basically lost one point. Every item is worth a point, so she lost one point to feed. So really, if she begged, she'd be losing three points, so it's really only a net two. But anyway, so that doesn't matter. She converted her rest of her wheat, so she has fed her new family. Me, I am going to slaughter this cow now, which will generate three food. Plus the other food I have is the four food I need, and everybody is well fed. Okay. And now, the new round comes out, and it is ruby. Now we can start building ruby mines. Ruby mines are the same as ore mines. You have to build them on a, on a uh, tunnel. So she, Jen's got a tunnel she could build a ruby mine on. I don't. And if you have one, or, or, or you know, if you have one, whenever you go to the ruby mine, you get to draw extra rubies. I forgot though, I could build a ruby mine here into the empty space on my ore mine, and when I do that, I get a free, so this is pretty nice for me. And now also, Here's another new twist that's added quickly. You may have noticed, harvest, this was a clear harvest, this was a special thing. All these other ones, we don't know if they're harvest or not. Chances are they're harvest, but they might be something else. Let's see what it is. 
it's a harvest. Okay, so, and you can see we have harvest, but there are also these, let's see if I can find one. Uh, I'll shuffle them, yeah. There's these special ones. When these come up, we have to refer to this. And the first time one of those comes up, there's no harvest. So anyway, let's shuffle those. Don't know where they are, blah, blah, blah. So, it's a new twist. You never know for certain if there's gonna be a harvest or not. You have to plan for it, but maybe get lucky. All right, also in a two-player game only, you skip round nine. That's what that card is there for. So anyway, a new thing has come out. We have to harvest, and now we refill, like always. Um, why is there, All right. So, stone. Stone, food. It might be worthwhile for me to steal first player now that there's three food there. A ruby. Three wood comes back out onto the logging space. Uh, another ore. That's a lot of ore. Um, another sheep. Look at all these sheep. And another donkey. And another wood. Now, wood gathering is getting crazy. Clearing. Another food on sustenance. Um, and that's it. Okay. And we're ready to go for the next round. And we have to harvest. So Jen needs six food now, and I need four, because I only have two family members. Jen has no food. I have no food. Food is suddenly first and foremost on our mind. But Jen, she's got a lot of opportunities to try to get like one of these things. Yeah. Okay, Jen's first. What's she going to do? I know exactly what she's going to do. And she's got three workers. First thing she is going to do is she is going to go sheep farming. Okay, now there's several things. She could pay two or four to get a one space or a two space pasture. That's the first thing she chooses. She is gonna pay four wood. One, two, three, four. And that means on the other side here, yep. Four victory points she gets for this pasture where she can put two animals in each of these spaces. Okay, she's done that. If she wants, she can convert a a, uh, she can only do this once, she can convert a stone, which she'll do, one of her stone, into a stable of her own. She'll put it in here, so now four animals can be held in each of these spaces, and then she will take all the sheep. And so, there you go. Very nice. And now she's got enough animals, these sheep will start to breed, which is very nice. That was her first action. Now my first action. The level five has to go before the level 11. I think it is time. Well, here's the question. Do I want to go on ahead and have a baby now? But that means I'm going to need five food. Can I get five food? I'd have to go from zero to five food right now in one turn. This guy would have to get five food all by himself. I don't know if I'm prepared for that. There's four food just sitting here on the sustenance place. Ah, it's four food plus a wheat. So there's five food sitting right there. And I would clear cut some more space which means I'd get another pig, and then my pigs could start breeding. Hmm, I like that. Laws, yes I do. I think that's it. So, I am gonna send, and it's unfortunate I'm not going on, wait, wait, but that means I would have enough, so I'm gonna have a baby. Okay, there we go. Jen's second turn. Ah, <sighs> she's sitting pretty, she's pretty much got her food needs covered, but she wants to, oh now, if she were to take sustenance, that would destroy me. But she's already got her food covered, she wants to start building. She wants to start getting, expanding her homeland because she's got all these spaces to fill. Although there's two rubies. If you just leave those rubies to build up, they will get grabbed. There's a lot of wood here. She's going to need, she's got stone, but she doesn't have much wood. She's going to need wood, but does she need more food? She's got four food sitting here. She doesn't want to eat all her, her guys though. She wants them to breed. She needs some more food. And this is the best place for food. That would destroy me. And... Oh, is she gonna do that? Wait a minute, actually, you know what? That is so dangerous for me, I don't think, since I knew I didn't have to rush, there's no reason for me to rush over there because I knew Jen could not have another child. So the first thing I did is I came here and protected myself. Yikes, you gotta be careful. So I get the food, I get a wheat, and I get to place another tile. Um, and what the hell, I'll, get, I'll come over here and I'll get the other pig. And now a single stable all by itself can only hold one animal, so the other pig will go into the house. Okay. Right. Boom. So that was my first action. Now Jen's action. She still wants more food. She could grab starting, she's already starting, she could hold on to starting player. What's better food? Oh, she could grab those donkeys. Oh, that's interesting. She unfortunately doesn't have enough wood left to, um, to build some more, and she doesn't actually have any meadows anyway, 
So those donkeys aren't the most efficient, but she can grab the donkeys and just convert them to food immediately. But that's only two food and nothing else. So that's a bad move for her. This is three food and two ore. That's pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Can she afford to build any of these? She needs two wood to get the slaughtering cave, which would mean whenever she slaughters an animal, she gets double return. She needs two stone for the cooking cave, but that doesn't do her any good unless she has a pumpkin, which she doesn't have yet. Or she needs a stone and a wood, which she could do for the working cave, which means she could fulfill all the needs. Yeah, she's going to build this. So her second action, she is going to do some housework. And for the first time, we have a dog. Oh, look at him. Look at Fido. Now, dogs in the basic game don't really have much use. They're, every dog is worth a point, and dogs can be used to herd sheep. Wherever a dog is, that doubles the amount. It's kind of like, so basically, well, it's a little bit more complicated than that. But basically, if there were an empty, if Jen had an empty meadow, if there were a dog here, she could have two sheep. You can have one more sheep than dogs in any allowable space. So this becomes another space where she could put sheep. However, she doesn't have any meadows right now. So a dog without a meadow is basically just victory points. That's all a dog is. So anyway, she gets the dog. It's a victory point. But maybe she'll be able to use it later to herd sheep. But more importantly, she gets to furnish a cavern. So she is going to spend her last wood and one of her last stones to build the working cave. It's two victory points. She can put in any of these three spaces, so put it here. And now she can feed a dwarf with just one wood, one stone, or two ore, and she's got stone and ore. So that's gonna help her feed for the rest of the game. So that was her second action. And now it's my second and final action. And so my food needs are recovered. I could get a baby, but I wonder if I shouldn't. Because here's the thing, with a warrior, you can do t t the actions of several players with one character with a powerful warrior. And so maybe I should just go logging, get some wood, and go on an adventure, because he's a level 11. What would a level 11 be able to do? I'd be able to get a meadow, or, oh, I'd almost be able to get a dwelling. Oh, I'd be so close to being able to get a dwelling. If I didn't get the wood, I could say I could go blacksmithing or I could do mine construction. So this would be three actions I could get. So say if I went there, three actions at level 11. I could get a wood and a stone and then I'd have enough to be able to build a dwelling so I'd have room for two. But okay, that's a bit overkill. I don't need to do that right now. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go, I'm going to go logging. I'm going to wait. I, even though I could get another family member, in, uh, you know, unlike Agricola where more family members is everything, because of the adventuring, you could go with a smaller family. It's a more viable strategy in Caverna. So anyway, so I'm going to stay at two. That means I need less food and I can do more stuff. That means I get to do one adventure. I get to bring back one piece of loot and it could be anywhere up to a number 11. Uh, let's see. So I could make a meadow. I don't need, I need another meadow. I don't have enough to build a dwelling. I could, for, if I, oh, look at this. This is nice. For two... Um, wood instead of four. Normally it costs four. I could build a big pasture like Jen did, score a lot of points, and I'd have enough room for my pigs to start breeding. That's pretty cool. See, so, or I could get another cow. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to, and, and remember, it's only half. Normally it costs, it costs Jen four wood. It only cost me two wood to get my own big old meadow, which is worth four victory points. And now I could store. Up, I can have up to um, eight pigs. Have I, I think I might have forgotten to breed these pigs last turn, did I? No, 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 because I just picked up that second pig now. Okay, so that was my second action, which was really two actions, gathering wood and building. So pretty cool. All righty, that was it. The, oh, wait, no, no, and because Jen's got one more work, she can do one more thing. What she want to do? I think she's going to grab these rubies because they are just too good, so powerful not to have rubies when you can. Okay, so all the workers come back. Okay, and we have to harvest now. It's a harvest turn. So, again, harvest. Um, Jen, her last piece of, is she harvest her last one? I don't have any crops feeding time. I need four food. I happen to have it. Didn't have to give anything up. Jen needs four food. Oh, wait a minute. Did she have the four food? Oh, no. Shoot. Oh, yeah, she does. Right. But remember, so one of her three people is going to get fed by simply giving up say two of her ore. So now she only needs four food instead of six. She could give up her pig. That'd be two. 
So she'll give up her pig, that's two. And now she only needs one, uh, she needs to feed one more, so she'll give up two sheep. And that means she has sheep left over to breed, okay. So, and now we get on to the breeding. Uh, baby sheep is born. And over here, for me, a baby pig is born. Okay, so that was actually kind of expensive. Instead of those rubies, she probably should have gotten some more food, but those rubies, yeah, and she could have traded these food, rubies in, remember, um, rubies. She could trade those rubies in um, for a, she could have trade one ruby in for an animal and then um, convert that animal to food and then the other ruby plus that food could have gone in. So she could have gotten, but she didn't. She's holding on to this for more stuff. She could plant this later, et cetera, et cetera. She didn't get rid of all her animals. So, you know, they still were able to breed. That was the end of that round. Okay, moving on to the next round. Uh, it's ore delivery. Okay, this becomes another thing where uh, if you come here, you can pick up ore and stone and additional. For me, a lot more additional because of my ore mines. And we find out, is it a question mark? No, it's not. Just a regular harvest. Okay. So, uh, means we ha we'll have to feed again. Yikes. And we have to start filling up again. So, stone. Stone. A lot of stone over here now. A lot of food sitting there. A single ruby. Um, and now, a stone and an ore, another donkey, a sheep, another ore, a lot of ore here. Um, three wood, one, two, three. Another wood down here. This is a mountain of wood building up in that forest. Um, a food, and that's everything. Okay, cool. Jen is still first. She's got three actions. Oh, and we're starting to run out of time. Okay, what is she gonna do? Is she gonna start trying? Now she has no resources to be able to build any of these cool things. She needs to start building resources. And now there's so much wood here built up, it'd be crazy not to pick up on that. And she, but she knows I've already got all of the wood, so why would I go for that? She should cry and grab something that she thinks I might try to grab, like all that stone. So I think the first thing she's gonna do is grab this stone. Okay. A lot of stone that she can use for building. And remember, in the back of her mind, she's hoping that she could build stone storage where every excess stone she had is worth a point. All right, so she's got a lot of stone. And remember, she gets to uh, build. Let's see. I think she'll go like this. First of all, she'll get two more food for finding the uh, underground lake. And she has made a double thing. So if she ever wanted to, she could do a ore mine if she wanted to because an ore mine is worth three points. She's got the space to do it now. That was her first action. Um, right. I think I can't keep waiting. I think I gotta have a kid. So I'm gonna go on ahead and have a kid now. Although, yeah, I'm gonna have a kid. All right, so there we go, have a kid. Although again, I don't have to rush on it. But I have to play this one first. And so if I have her go out and do an adventure, it won't be as good an adventure as if I have this one go. So it's kind of wasteful to have my high level adventurer have the kid because that person can go out and do a much better adventure over at wood gathering or blacksmithing. Oh, oh, that's cool though. Yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna have the kid. All right, all right, so Jen's second turn. That'll be neat. All right, what else are you gonna do? All right, so I didn't take the wood. She's gonna grab all this wood, so she's really setting herself up. Oh, but remember, she needs food too. She's got another turn though, so she'll be able to worry about her food on her last turn. So a lot of wood, wow, that's a lot of wood and a lot of stone. Okay, my second action, I am gonna go blacksmith. Oh, no, I'm not. Shoot, I was gonna go blacksmithing and forge a weapon for our brand new baby, but I have no ore. Oh no, oh no, and I need five food. Shoot, 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 shoot. Now I could get the food by doing an adventure. Remember, because I could get a cow, a cow is worth three, and then I could get just a couple more things. But I really wanted that ore. So I'd have to, oh, shoot. If I wait, well, actually, yeah, let's go back. If I wait one more turn before I have a kid. So my first action this turn was to get a bunch of ore. So that's a lot of ore. And it's not just this, it's a lot of ore, plus four more, because I have two ore mines. One, two, three, Four. Okay, so that was my first action. And then Jen, she, uh, her second action was getting the wood. And now for my second action, I'm gonna go blacksmithing, which means, oh, but now I don't have the baby. Ha, shoot. 
All right, so hold on a second. Maybe I shouldn't have. Oh, this game is getting confusing. So you really do need, this is just like a Agricola. You have to spend so much time figuring out the perfect move. All right, put all that ore back. All right, so what are the two things I'm gonna do? If I have a baby, my other thing would just have to be about, well, oh, five food here. Yeah, you know what? My first action is gonna be to grab starting player. Jen has had starting player long enough. Four food, that makes it worthwhile. I'm gonna take starting player back. And I get two ore for my trouble. That was my first action. Jen's second action was getting the wood. And then my second action would be having the baby. Right, okay, so there we go. And unfortunately, I didn't go on an adventure this turn. Very wasteful to have my big, super powerful level 11 guy who could have leveled up to a level 12. <sighs> Should I have a baby? Just means I'll eat more food. I've, already, I've, got, I've got enough food for just mom and pop if I don't have a kid. So let's just think about this for a second. If I don't have a kid, what else do I wanna do? I could basically go blacksmithing, not to blacksmith, but just to have a big old level three adventure. Or I could have a level one adventure and get more wood. Three, three loot at level 11 would let me clear some more land, would let me get a cow for some more food, would let me furnish the caverns, would let me start getting victory points. So I wanna go adventure every turn. Do I really hold off on that to have it? Yeah, I guess I will, okay. Yeah, all right. All right, and so Jen, she has one more turn. She's got two food, she needs six. She can feed one, no, she needs four because she has that special room. Um, she is going to go housework again, get another dog, which is another point, and she's gonna furnish another room, and she's gonna get the slaughtering cave, which requires two wood, which comes over here, and two stone, and she'll build it over here. And now, whenever she converts animals, she gets extra food out of it. So that was her last action. I don't have another action. We're done. It's harvest time. I only, I only need four food because I've got a small family. Jen needs six food. Here's one, two of it. And she'll give up a stone, thanks to the working cave. That's three of it. And she needs uh, four, three, four of it. She needs two more. She will slaughter a, a sheep. And instead of only getting one food like normal, um, she will get two thanks to the slaughtering cave. So that's her final two. So she, her, her, her feeding is met. We didn't do any harvesting because neither was planting anything. She's fed and now there's breeding. Jen's pig or cow or sheep breeds and my pig breeds again. And now I'm starting to run out of space for my pigs. Okay, and we're done. All right, moving on to the next round. Family life, okay. This comes out. What is it? It's the first question mark. We have, as you can see, no harvest. We don't harvest anything, but we don't have to feed anybody either. So we get a reprieve. And family life, when this comes out, it, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't bring back all my family members. Silly me. Should have brought back Jens too. So we're both equal on family members. And whenever family life comes out, wish for children upgrades to urgent wish for children, where before it was have a kid or furnish. Now it's furnish, you have to furnish, and then after you furnish, you can have a kid or get three victory points. So that changes that pretty significantly. And meanwhile, this is have a kid and or so. So now there are two ways to have kids and they're very interesting. This one, you can have a kid and do nothing else. This one, if you wanna have a kid, you first are required to build a dwelling. And Jen is set up for that. She can afford to build dwellings. But um, me, I, I can't build dwellings right now. There's only, oh, so that's really interesting. Okay, so, and I am now first, but before we go on, we have to restock the board. Let's see here, um, a food. Two rubies are out again. Um, another stone and ore, uh, nothing. Another donkey, look at all these donkeys. Look at all these sheep. Another ore, oh my gosh. Another wood. Wood gathering is starting to slowly build up again. Clearing is now becoming very attractive. Sustenance, and that's everybody, okay. And this turn, we do not have to harvest. So for once, we get a break from the rat race of food. The next time 
There you can see there's three more after this. Two of these three are gonna be question marks as well. The next one is gonna be a, you don't get to harvest and you only have to pay one food per dwarf. And then the last one will be, you have to do a harvest and you can either breed or do the field, but not both. And either way you have to feed. And there, actually, yeah, you know, the game. Wow, it's kind of going over. Interesting, I think I might finish this game. But let's see, so it's my turn. And you know what? I think I am going to. You, I'm going to put another button up on the screen. And you can press a button for an extended extended if you'd like to watch as I try to muscle my way through these last three turns. Um, so you can see a full experience. No, I'm not. God. Because I'm, I'm thinking, oh, I can do it really quick, but that's not true. Now we both have three workers. These last three turns, we're, one of us is going to get four. One of us might get five workers. They just get more and more complex. No, it would take forever. It would take forever. Let's just, but i got to wrap this up. It's been 40 minutes. See, so you've seen this happen now. We're gonna skip this turn. So there's only, there's this round and then three more rounds after it, where, and two of them will be kind of special. You've seen a lot of adventuring now. I am definitely, this round, I am first. Do I wanna grab all this ore? Probably not immediately, because Jen has had shown no interest in ore whatsoever. But I gotta start thinking long term. I don't have to pay food now, but I do need to get food. I need to, because like Agricola, every one of these spaces I don't fill up with something is a point I lose. I need to start, like this might be really good. This is a lot of food and I could clear some more area. Um, or if I get this ore, two of my three actions are get this ore and then go blacksmithing, I can have a really good adventure and I can create a really nice weapon for my kid. So I've got three great adventurers. Um, and then if I get the, with a weapon storage built, that's nine bonus points for the three weapons I've built over the course of the game. So that becomes very cool. Um, oh my gosh, so much to do and so little time. And there, I mean, I haven't even talked about, let's see, I haven't gotten myself, now Jen's got two great ways to improve her food. This last cooking cave is not so great for me, but there's other ones. If I get the weaving, um, I immediately get one food per sheep. I don't have any sheep. One food per, um, let's see, at any time, oh, this is nice, the hunting parlor. At any time before scoring, before the end of the game, whenever I want, I can convert two pigs to two points and two food. Normally, I'd convert two pigs to four food, but I can convert, so that's actually pretty cool. And it's a victory point and it's cheap. It only costs two wood to build that. This might be something for you to build since I've now, I'm, you know, I'm starting, I need to start, I'm gonna have space for these pigs. So I do need, I could just start slaughtering them for two food a piece, or I could slaughter them for a food and a point a piece. And I could start earning points to catch up. Strictly speaking, I've got six, I've got six, uh, 10 points. Jen's got um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 points. But I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I have, um, no, we, we both have the same number of empty spaces. We're very close in terms of points. I've got a pig breeding thing. She's got a sheep breeding thing going on. She's got some dogs that are worth points. I've got these adventurers who let me do bonus actions. Jen hasn't even done that at all yet. Um, I've got, she's a bit more well-rounded with resources than me. We both got, we should plant our fields. Neither of us have done it. But that's because slash and burn, well, we've just been ignoring it because nothing's building up on there. But now, family life also includes a sow. So maybe it's a race to get another dwelling. Can I get another dwelling? But remember, when I go on adventures, I can build dwellings at a, at, a, at a discount cost. So I think this turn, I definitely, definitely, if I can, want to get some stone and then go on an adventure and um, build the dwelling and then finally have a family life. That's what I'm gonna do this turn and have four workers. Um, but Jen, she might go on a family, but for her to go to do this, she would have to build a dwelling first. And she could, so she'd have to come here, furnish a cavern to build a dwelling. So it's a race, but I am first. So if, she, um, if we want a race to do this family life, but no, she could always furnish her dwelling from here and she can do that one, I can't do that one. So I think this turn we're both gonna get a fourth family member. I'm gonna do it via adventuring and then this. And as a bonus, I will get to, um, har so probably when I go on that adventure, not only will I build, but I'll also get a pumpkin so I can plant. And then, I'll oh, that'll be great. Oh, but okay. You get it, you get it. That is Caverna. Things real, there's so much you can do. You know, I, I, I'm not getting into final thoughts. 
because there's a button on screen for it right now that you can hear some final thoughts, but gosh, I've just scratched the surface. There is so much left to go. Just that thought process I was going through of what I'm going to do with these three workers and, you know, two of them could be adventurers, but one of them is going to, you know, it's going to be the, my highest level one. Or maybe no, it's going to be my second one because, oh, but I don't know. But, and then what will Jen do? What she, she might take something I want. Everything could change, but that's Caverna. You've definitely got an idea of how it plays. If, is there anything I haven't talked about? The changes from core curricula. You know, these things, these wild cards, whether you have to harvest or not, you can definitely see the actions you can do are very different. You don't have cards. The cards have been replaced with these. I think that's pretty much it. There's probably a couple little things, um, but that's it for Caverna. I'm going to stop right there and take a breather and um, get a drink of water, and then you guys can come back for final thoughts in five, four, three, two, one.